now ibro we do get that Nicki minaj and you uh, probably don't see eye to eye at the moment and you wish you would interview her but it's not happening anytime soon but then with Nicki minaj never say never but at this point um you're just gonna have to settle for latte lottery ticket or scratch off whatever name you wanna call her uh we do get that but you and your little co-hosts do not have to sit up there and be delusional about nothing do you get what i'm saying don't be delusional okay and at the same time it looks like we are not the only people who enjoy t ash miracles t and her names it seems like celebrities are begin to acknowledge and warm up to their names that they got from t ash miracle and honestly speaking i love that for ashley she's effortlessly funny she's so original hello t lovers and welcome to the t plug now first of all i'm gonna talk about this ibro shende where she where he is trying to keep lato in the conversation um i do not know which world he's living in because as of now lato is a non-factor as of now lato cannot be in the same sentence with, with Nicki minaj with with um ice spice not to even mention Nicki minaj do you get what i'm saying so i don't know what ibra is trying to do trying to keep up lato's name relevant by talking about the Nicki minaj situation because it seems like that's the only time that madam scratch off is on the relevant do you get what i'm saying you guys so um ibra and um, his delusional co-host in my own opinion set up there and started coming up with theories that are in my own opinion very absurd um they set up there and started saying that well Nicki minaj sees that lato is such a star that well she feels like oh um i want to be your competition <laughs> oh i love me to love you guys because this is the most delusional stuff i've ever heard in a while okay even amon wiggins the clown would never <laughs> And I'm like, Ibro, come on, man. You have a little bit of respect in the, in the rap media circles, but stop being a clown, bro. Like, stop it. In what world would Lato be Nicki Minaj's competition? Because according to Ibro, um, he feels like Nicki Minaj looks at Lato as somebody who could do, who, who has the potential to do better than him. Because he said that, well, um, maybe Nicki Minaj sees that Lato is doing good in all the categories that I've done good in. And she has the potential to be loved outside of hip hop. Like, you know, um, talking about that whole pop song that she had with Mariah Carey. Carey um, and, um, you know, just um, the whole scammy thing. And according to Ibro, it's because of that little song that Nicki Minaj feels like Lato has got the potential to do better than her. And I'm like, go away, Ibro. Like, go away. It's literally one song that um, that is one song that got her the scammy nomination. And the scam is that we don't exactly care about. The scam is that are well known for snapping Nicki Minaj. And you're out there trying to act like, come on, Ibro. Be realistic, okay? I don't know what is going on in your circle. I don't know if this is some payola kind of situation. But this is absurd to the point that... I don't even know where to start arguing with this, like with this entire notion because it's wild. Have you ever heard something that's just so crazy that you don't even know whether to waste your energy trying to have a debate or an argument about it? Like and I'm just like I was so I was so shocked like that someone can boldly be delusional, you know, um like that on A. Do you get what I'm saying? Because listen I feel like at this point, they're just doing it to keep Lato in the conversation because no one is checking for her now. Um, everyone is checking for Ice Spice. She's not in the conversation in terms of music anymore. Do you get what I'm saying? After Lottery Ticket flopped the way it flopped, despite getting massive A play, radio play, I feel like it's so very insulting and disrespectful to think or to even say that Nicki Minaj would look at that girl as, um, you know, as competition. That girl's delusional. That girl is, is mad, in my own opinion. And it doesn't make any sense. And I feel like at this point, these are just desperate measures, desperate moves to keep her as part of the conversation. And it's not happening, unfortunately. 
okay the only person that is relevant at this point in time is ice spice okay there's no place for lato anymore sadly okay and it's because you guys took the old cardi b formula and tried to apply it to scratch off do you get what i'm saying but the only thing that people missed is that it's not 2018 anymore it's not 2019 anymore people have finally realized what the industry was trying to do to Nicki minaj and the bubs are not letting up do you get what i'm saying so ibro please buy stop disrespecting the queen of rap by saying that she sees Nicki minaj's competition okay that she sees you know that girl scratch off as competition like go away with that in my azalea voice uh azalea banks voice okay and the whole the host um, the other girl kept saying oh she's shooting down she's shooting get the f out of here okay when lato was out there disrespecting Nicki minaj no one was talking about her shooting up so if the bullets are coming from down best believe somebody's going to shoot down do you get what i'm saying she's still there and i'm just like go bye all three of them in my own opinion in that podcast they were clowns if you ask me because don't be delusional okay don't try and create a narrative that's there do you get what i'm saying and um Ibro was like oh well Nicki Minaj is saying you want a crown oh my god come and shoot me come and get it oh um, <laughs> Nicki Minaj is not checking for that girl when she mentioned that girl for those of, of you who do who cannot comprehend it's not it wasn't about Lato Nicki Minaj's fight is not about Lato it's with the scammers Stop acting so slow. I dislike it when people are slow. Oh my God. I did not mean for this to turn into a rant, but it's very annoying, you guys. Do hop into the comment section and let me know what you think about Ibro's mess and delusion. Okay? Now, moving on to the final thing that I'm going to be talking about. It seems like Koi Leray, aka Koi Fish, is out there stalking, turning post notifications on for T. Ash Miracle's blog because she posted a picture of herself. And captioned it koi fish <laughs> and you know my opinion i really find that funny you guys i find that really funny i find that being conf- confirmation that these girls actually do check for ash miracle because you remember at that time also called a black cold light of scratch off and i love to see it for ash miracle it seems like she's really doing well in the blogging circles because she has a different way of delivery which is uh, very comedic very very hilarious and in my own opinion she deserves all the good things okay um do hop into the comment section and let me know if you think that koi's caption um is very funny um in terms of her basically listening to the blogs okay now thank you very much for watching and uh, thank you very much for making it thus far if you haven't already what are you waiting for smash that subscribe button and do turn on the notification bell so that you'll be notified each and every time that i post i post each and every single day 